We'll have another look at a small combat now, this time involving our squad of enforcers, but also involving an Iron Ancestor with dual House Storm auto cannons and a heavy Forge Hammer. So the difference here is that Walkers, which is what the Iron Ancestor is, are very, very heavily armoured and therefore much more able to resist damage from infantry and weapons that do not have the anti-tank keyword. So, um, a lot of the rules I'll talk about with walkers would also apply to tanks and things as well. So let's activate our enforcers and they will shoot first to see if they can damage the Iron Ancestor. So I will roll they're all in range with the rifles and the pistols, so I'll roll four dice for the pistols and the rifles, and three dice for the burst laser. And I need a four or more to hit. Now I got quite a lot of hits there, which is very good. All of those are hits, with the exception of the three, which I'll remove. And you'll notice I had a one. Now remember, the enforcers have the marksman ability so I can re-roll the one and it's another hit so I have hit with the burst laser now the burst laser has the ability pinning but because this is a heavily armored walker they are not pinned by weapons with a pinning ability they are only pinned in certain circumstances such as losing an assault or being wounded by a unit uh, by a weapon sorry with the anti-tank keyword so none of the weapons I've hit with have the anti-tank keyword. So what I will do now is I will roll against the armour of the Iron Ancestor. So I take my dice and I roll against the armour value of the Iron Ancestor, which is an 8. So I need 8s to cause any damage because I do not have any AP. And I have not rolled any 8s. So despite having all that firepower come down, because I didn't have specialist weaponry, I wasn't able to cause any damage. Now if I had got an 8, because I don't have any anti-tank weaponry, I would have had to re-roll that successful hit, and therefore I may very likely have also not managed to damage the Iron Ancestor. <laughs> Let's now replay that attack, but this time, instead of the burst laser, I have a specialist missile launcher on my enforcers. So this weapon is anti-tank, and therefore designed for destroying vehicles and walkers. So we'll roll again the same four dice with the pistols and rifles, but now two white dice for the missile launcher. Again, I need fours to hit, Rerolling once. I hit with several of the small arms, the mystic one. I hit once with the missile launcher, and I can reroll this one because I have the marksman ability. And that is a second hit. So now I still need eights to wound with my small arms. I might get lucky. I do not. But now I have my two white dice from the missile launcher that did hit. Now the armor is eight for the Iron Ancestor, but I have AP four. So now I need fours to wound with my missile launcher. And I get two wounds. Now, as I said before, if I didn't have the anti-tank ability, I would need to re-roll these dice, but I do have anti-tank, so therefore two wounds will be caused on the Iron Ancestor. And I will reduce the hit points of the Iron Ancestor from four to two. So that one hit has taken it down to half its strength. So you can see that using the right sort of weapon for the right sort of job can have a huge benefit. In addition, because the Iron Ancestor as a walker has taken a wound from a anti-tank weapon, it is also pinned which means it will only be able to have one short action when I activate.